Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're gonna unbox my brand new model. Um, as you guys can see, uh, the package is already all opened and all that stuff. The reason is because I already unboxed my first model from this package, which was Airbus A33200, Malaysia Airlines from JC Wings 200. If you guys did not see that video, make sure you go check it out right now. Uh, however, I said in the last video, I'm gonna say this time too I, I ordered two two models uh, at the same time so this is gonna be the second unboxing video so this is why um, the whole package open right here as, as you guys can see all right so let's take out the model out of the box so this is not like a crazy you know big or special model uh, that we're gonna have today uh, this is UPS Boeing 757-200F from Gemini JS-200. Um, the reason why I pretty much bought this model is because uh, a long time ago, like probably three or four years ago, I made an unboxing video where I unboxed uh, also UPS model, but that time it was 767-300F. And as I was searching for new models for my collection, I was like, uh, I found this 757-200F, also UPS, and I was like, you know, it's going to be a really nice addition to my 767 UPS, so that's why I decided to purchase it. So, we have the front of the box right here, we have the aircraft, uh, UPS logo, Gemini 200, you bought 757-200F, uh, die-cast model aircraft, item number right here, some specifications about this model, uh, Boeing license, all that stuff this release this model was released in 2021 so you can, can pretty much say it's one of those new releases of this model this is the top of the box the left the bottom and the right and we can also take a look at this model by opening this front cover right here just like that and you know, here's the model itself. And we also have some specifications about Boeing 757-200F. Um, I think, nah, it's just, yeah, it's just overall 757 uh, aircraft. If you wanna take a pause and read it, you can go ahead and do it right now. Let's go ahead and open up the box. places <laughs> so here's the model we have the stand the landing gears and the model itself So pretty much it's nothing special about the stand is just you know a typical uh, Gemini uh, 200 stand uh, it's all metal we also have this little soft pattern right here so that the motor won't be scratched underneath nothing much about it you know the more I'm surprised about is that uh, this is actually my uh, second 757 model um, there's also another 757 model that I have, which is 757-300 uh, uh, United Airlines. And the thing about the, that model is that uh, the gears were already on the model, uh, where here we have the gears separately from the aircraft. Uh, and you know, I like when the gears are separately from aircraft because you know, I have the option either to put it on the um, in-flight configuration or just uh, uh, on the gears I always like to put the model in the gears but you know it's always it, it always it's always nice to have some you know um, um, to choose what how you want to put the aircraft so here are the landing gears we also have the landing gear doors inside of this package I believe yep and let's take a close look at the aircraft
It looks pretty cool, honestly. Nothing much, just a typical 757-200 uh, F model. You know, it's not a big aircraft. Uh, it's the biggest uh, narrow body aircraft in the world though, but you know, comparing to the 787 or I don't know, let's say 777, you know, obviously it's not as big as those planes are, but you know, I still like the 757, especially the cargo models. I think um, there's something special about them. You know, when I see 757 as the cargo model, um, yeah. And like I said, I have a 767 300F also UPS, and I also have 767 300F, but but the FedEx one. And you know, I think this 757 200F UPS is gonna be a real nice addition to my collection. You know, I'm definitely gonna put those uh, this model to my uh, next to my 767s uh, freighter freight, freight models. You know. Um, yeah, honestly, I like this model a lot. I mean, just uh, a lot of details. Uh, looks great, you know, and uh, the thing about the, specifically about 200 scale models is that, you know, if you don't really have much space in your room or in your house, they take quite a bit of space uh, in there. So, you know, aircrafts like 757 or, I don't know, 737 or Airbus uh, A320, you know those airplanes don't take much space and you know um 757 is kind of like the model between the big ones and little ones and you know i think that's what's nice about it i already showed you guys the gears so let's put the gears in the model and uh we're gonna take a close look at the model itself all right so here are the landing gear doors if you like to put it in the in flight configuration the aircraft but you know i would want to keep it with the gears on but anyways let's put the gears on the model so the gears are magnetic and they're uh, it's very easy to put them on and take them off um which is also a really nice cool feature all right this is how the aircraft looks like with the landing gears on beautiful man very nice model a little bit oily like as i you know already you know took the model uh in my hands and hold it a few times it's my hands are kind of oily but i guess it's the uh protective cover whatever for that model so um i don't know it won't be scratched or anything like that so let's take a close look at this model and see all the features in a close look all right so we have the model right here um on the table and let's start with the cockpit windows all right so we have the cockpit windows static ports all that stuff we also have the crew member door right here uh nose gear uh part of the registration number on the nose gear door worldwide service which is a slogan for ups main corridor right over here we also have the engine i believe those are the pratt whitney all right let's see if the flame blade and if the fan blades do spin uh no not really let's see engine number two No, unfortunately, the, the fan blades do not spin, but I really like this spiral feature on the center of the fan blade. Uh, looks really, really detailed. Uh, we also have the, um, I believe this is a takeoff uh, landing marking right here on the wing. Let's see if we have any taxi lights on the nose gear. Nope, we don't. And there's also another uh, take off marking right over here All right coming down to the windtip of the uh, Wing of our aircraft we have the red navigation light We also have this little I believe this is a windtip. I, I don't I don't think this is a fuel dot well 
Uh, I don't think that's what it is, but I might be mistaken. Coming back to the fuselage, we have more uh, markings on the fuselage, registration number, which is N464UP. Uh, more markings, and we have the tail with the UPS logo in it. All right, let's see the APU exhaust system. I believe there's an actual hole in it, which is a really nice thing to see, yep. And I also believe, yep, we have one small little antenna right here in the back, in the very back. This one little small antenna, which is a really nice, cool thing to see on this model. You know, very, very detailed. All right, coming down to the other side, we got cockpit windows, worldwide services, um, cargo container door, nose gear, part of the registration number on nose gear door right over here. Engine, Pratt Whitney, might be mistaken. <laughs> we also have the windtip, and on the windtip we have the green navigation light. Coming back to the fuselage, uh, we have another car cargo container door, registration number, and the UPS logo on the tail. Alright, coming to the top of the aircraft, we have the cockpit, uh, a lot of cool markings on the fuselage, on top of the fuselage, uh, you can barely see them. Uh, Anti-collision light right over there. A lot of other markings. Let me just zoom it out like that a little bit so that it will be more visible for you guys. Um, antenna. Coming down to the wing, we have flaps, slats, ailerons, and spoilers. We also have this red marking right here. I don't honestly, I don't know what this stands for. So I'm not gonna say anything about it. Same thing in the other wing, on the other side. Coming down to the fuselage, we have uh, we have more markings right here. Actually, those two markings for the antennas. You can't actually see them on the video, but um, you know they're not visible for you guys. But you can actually see them. Uh, you know I can. They're pretty visible for for my own for my own for for me, and we have the stabilizers, and that's about it. All right, coming down to the bottom of the aircraft, we have uh, we have nose gear doors, a lot of cool features, a lot of cool markings right here, a whole bunch of them, uh, which is awesome. We have antennas, Nekadex. We also have holes for the stand right over here. Um, this landing gear is a little bit cursed. Um, main landing gear doors. We also have this these nice markings on the engines. Flaps, slats, ailerons. Same thing on the other side. Gemini Jets logo, antenna and the um, doors for the APU exhaust. And there's also, this is a little more visible. As you guys can see, we have this one little antenna right here on the side, which gives even more detail to the aircraft. So the landing gears, they do not really spin. Uh, they, they do tilt though. Uh, the nose gear does swivel around. And coming down to the center really shortly before, we have this Gemini Jets 200 stand. Um, I wish Gemini Jets would do the same stands or like similar stand as the JC Wings does, uh, where they, we have the title of the aircraft and all that stuff. You know, I really like that feature, um, you know, Gem that Gemini Jets do not have. 
I believe they used to do it with their models back in the day, but they don't do it now, so you know, I guess the way it is. <laughs> so let's put the model on the stand. The model sits nicely on it, even though it's a little bit unstable, as you guys can see, but you know, um, I think it still sits pretty nicely on it, even though it might look like it's a little bit unstable. All right, so we have the model on the stand, and this is gonna be the end of our of our review. I hope you guys enjoy watching it. Um, leave a comment of what you think about this model. I'll leave a link down in the description of where I bought this model. Uh, by the way, I bought it on eastwest.com, so um, I'll leave the link in the description for this website also. Would I recommend this model? Um, honestly, it depends. Uh, in my opinion, I think if you have at least one UPS model in your collection, let's say if it's a 747 or 767 model or any other aircraft, uh, and you know you want to have a little nice addition to your UPS model, then I think this is a great model. If you want to just buy it, just you know, just if you don't have any UPS models or you know, um, any even cargo cargo models. I think it'd still be a really nice addition to your collection. You know, if you have any 757 models or if you have any cargo models overall. Um, so yeah, I mean, I, I, I should say, yeah, I really do definitely really recommend it. Especially if you, if you don't really have enough space in your room or in your house for models uh you know 757 doesn't take that much that much uh, space for um you know in your house so i think um i think yeah i think it's a nice it's gonna be a nice addition to a collection or it's just gonna be a very nice first model um for your future collection um you know considering the price you know the price for this model was around probably like 80 bucks if i believe a little bit more um you know i think i think it's pretty worth it you know so if you guys enjoy watching this video please press a like um comment down as i said what you think about this model i'll leave all the links down in the description um subscribe for more for more upcoming unboxing videos on my youtube channel and i'll see you next time uh, i'll see you guys soon Thank you.